But let me show you how to create a professional e-commerce website using WordPress and WooCommerce plugin on web host most platform. So there are a few essential things required to build a professional e-commerce website with WordPress. For that, you would need a professional web hosting account, WordPress installation, WooCommerce plugin, an active payment gateway system, and any available mailing service. Luckily, with web host most, it can be done quick and easy. So let's get started. So first of all, let's get a professional web hosting account. So for that, we have to go to webhostmost.com and then select the preferred plan that we are trying to get. For instance, you can see all the available plans here and I would recommend for e-commerce to go with advanced plan to begin with because that will give you enough space to store all your data as well as have the amount of space for all the backups needed. So let's select advanced plan choose preferred billing cycle and then we have domain configuration you have a few options here you can register a new domain directly from web host most you can transfer domain from somewhere else to web host most you can use owned domain for instance if, if you already have a domain name registered with another provider then you can just assign name servers to use web host most account or you can use free subdomain that is offered by web host most i will just go with free subdomain option and uh, type something like my WP e-commerce test dot freewebhostmost.com. Click check button to make sure that this subdomain is actually available. After that, let's select server location. You have three locations at the moment. I would recommend to go with the location that is closer to your visitors. So for instance, let's select United States and then you can add a few add-ons if you really need to. Now select the desired payment method. I will just select my balance since I already have one. So don't forget to agree to terms of service. Once everything is ready, click checkout. Wait for the success screen. Order has been placed. Now we have to navigate to our client area. From here, you can see that we have our active service that we have just purchased. So click manage because from here you will see button login to direct admin, which is exactly what we need. This way we can navigate to our admin panel. So we're inside of our admin panel and next thing we need to install WordPress. Luckily with web host most, you can do this within a few clicks. So just go to web website management, advanced installer hub. From here, find WordPress. Now click install. By default, it will give you just default settings, but from here, you also can customize this installation by clicking custom install. Now, anyways, I will just go with the default installation. So I will just click install because again, I'm just doing this for a test to show you guys how you can easily start working with a professional e-commerce website. Once installed, it will give you a few links. So the first one will navigate you to the front end of the website and the second one will navigate you directly directly to the admin panel of your WordPress installation. So let's check if our admin panel is already accessible. All right, if you see screen like this, where it says that your website cannot be reached, that is because you have to clean your browser cache and cookie. Or if you have VPN connection, like I do, for example, just enable VPN for a few seconds so it will reset your traffic. All right, it is installed now. So from here, you can see that I have just installed WordPress within just a a few clicks. Let's verify if our front end is working as well. And it appears that yes, it is working. I have my default installation ready to go. Next thing we have to do is we have to install WooCommerce plugin. For that, let's navigate to plugins from your WordPress admin panel and then add new plugin. Now just type WooCommerce. All right, so very first plugin is our WooCommerce, which will transform WordPress installation into the actual e-commerce website. Once installed, you have to activate this plugin and it will redirect you to the configuration page that will guide you step-by-step -step with basic settings for your e-commerce website. All right, so we are inside of our setup wizard and from here, we have to just set up our store. Follow all those procedures, make sure that you select all the options that fits your needs and I will just go with default installation.
and then make sure that you put your right email address because email server is already active and working within the web host most and you have to make sure that your email is correct because it will be sending you all the tips reset links and whatever information that you might need i will just leave it by default because i don't really need any of that again it's just for test so click continue then we have a few extra plugins that could be installed within our woocommerce installation and you can just leave it all by default or remove all the unnecessary plugins i will just use a woocommerce payments automatic tax rates and shipping labels because those three things are the most important ones for the e-commerce website and hey by the way on the right top corner you have skip this step and you can skip all the steps basically if you wish to set up this entire thing manually but if not then just click continue and again follow those procedures this is something really easy and it could be done within just a few seconds and it will redirect you to the woocommerce page now if i would go back to my front end and just refresh the page you'll see that my menu has changed and this is an indication that my woocommerce plugin is actually installed and working because it is giving me this e-commerce functionality and if i would go to the shop page you'll see that i have no products yet so the next thing you would have to add a few products well as many products as you have you can add it here it could be up to a few thousands of products and also following all those procedures on these steps will help you to customize your e-commerce a little bit faster and better because it will be tailored straight to your e-commerce store basically so let me show you how to add products for the test i will just add one test product so on the left side uh, you'll see the menu and you have this new tab products and from here go to add new since we don't have any products yet let's add one for test you have to put the name for your product and let's call it delicious pizza scroll a little bit down and you'll see product data from here you can choose the product type it could be simple product with a regular pricing or you can select a variable product which will give you options inside of your product to select from different things i will show you the variable product because this one is a little bit more complicated so you have better understanding of how this thing works you must type the sku you can just come up with whatever name let's call it test pizza for example then enable stock management if you have stock and you're managing the quantity of your products i will just select this option allow back orders you have few options here as well quantity let's say i have 10 of them and you can also sell it individually which means that nobody will be able to purchase multiple products at the same time if that's the case but i will just leave it by default just enter quantity 10 then shipping here you have to put all the dimensions let's say it weights a one kilogram and make sure that you put the proper sizing for the product all right, next thing you need to add a few attributes, things like sizing, colors, form of the product, models, whatever you have for your product, you can add it here and customize it the way you like it. So for example, let's add the size. So inside of the value top, let's add a few options. For example, we have small, medium, and big. To differentiate those values, you have to use the bar sign. Now let's add some more attributes. For example, besides the size, we also have color. Let's say we have red bar sign, we have blue bar sign, and we have black. Save your attributes. The next thing we have to create variation. Just navigate to variations tab. And from here, you can add all those variations manually, or you can generate variations based on all the attributes that we have just added. Just just let's click generate variations wait a few seconds and it will automatically give you all the possible variations based on the attributes since this is a variable product each variation may cost different price so let's open up each variation one by one and add parameters especially things like pricing so we have the ability to sell each product for whatever price it really costs for example let's add five here ten here 15 here and so on whatever your variation costs just make sure that you add a proper pricing to it you can also remove each variation individually if you really need to and then click save 
changes. Now, a few last things that had left here is product description as well as product short description. Product short description will show up at the very beginning of the product itself and product description, this is a long description that you will be able to see under the product that you would better add with as many details as possible to describe your product. So for the test, just so you see how it looks inside of product short description, I will just place some, some short description. This is very tasty pizza inside of the actual long description you can add things like what ingredients it includes so for instance let's say cheese pepper salt chicken and now we have to add our product image if you already uploaded a few images to your installation you can select from your media library but if not you can select straight from your computer and upload all those files to your wordpress installation i just have a random image i think it will work and then you also can add product gallery so if you want your people to view your product from different angles you can add more products to it so they can scroll images and view view your product a little bit better. I will just add a few images that I have from my computer for test. Don't judge me seriously because again, I'm doing this for a test just to show you how it's possible to create this store. But I hope that you guys already have all the professional images for each of your product so people can exactly view what you're selling that will increase your conversion rate. And also don't forget to add the product category. Just click add new category and let's say we have pizzas. Let's publish our product. Let's check how it looks on the front end of our website. All right, it is saved. Now let's go to the front end, refresh the page. We have this product already shown on the front end. So if I click to that product to view options of it, you can see that I have my image that I have uploaded as well as that gallery. Now from here, if I would select different sizes and colors, you will see that my pricing varies, depends on each variation that I'm choosing. All right, product is added. So the next thing we need to add payment gateway system. There are many different options available on the market. One of the most popular ones are things like Stripe, Square, PayPal, Authorize.net and so on. So I really hope that you already have an active account with one of them. And if you do, the next thing you have to integrate that payment system into your e-commerce website. To do that, we have to add plugin for our system. So for example, Stripe, we have to go to our plugins, add new plugin and type Stripe. Just click install now. Once installed, activate this plugin and you have to make sure that you connect that plugin with your actual account. I will do this just for test. So now we have to go to WooCommerce settings and from here, let's select payments. You'll see that I have Stripe option, which is exactly what we need. You have to enable this option and it will redirect you to the page for configuration of that plugin. From here, just again, connect your payment gateway system. I will connect my test account. All right, so we have connected our Stripe account and now it is enabled as our payment method. And the last thing we have to do is connect our mailing service. There are many different mailing services that you can use. For instance, things like FedEx, UPS, USPS, DHL, or whatever else that works better for you. The same way you will be able to add plugin to WooCommerce for the specific mailing carrier that you selected. Since I don't have any mailing services currently active, I won't be able to integrate this thing, so it won't really work. However, there is another option that you can do with WooCommerce and you can add flat rate. Just imagine that you already know approximately what is the pricing for all your products uh, that you're selling to ship them out. Let's say it's going to be $15 for each item. So what you can do, you go to WooCommerce settings shipping tab. From here, you have zones. You can add multiple zones and it indicates where WooCommerce will be able to offer to your buyer shipping option. If you're selling to many different countries, you have to add every single country to the system. Free shipping option is already added by default. You can disable it if you wish, or you can add shipping method and you can use flat rate. So for the flat rate, as I said, if you already know the pricing for this thing, we can just add, let's say 10 or $15. And then every single product that people are going to buy will be covered with a $15 or whatever amount you select for the shipping. Let's say we have $15 our cost. It is non-taxable, create and save. 
there is it in terms of flat rate shipping. Now, if I would navigate to my front end, refresh the page, I decided to choose whatever option of the product and I can add it to the cart. Let's view our cart. And from here, you will be able to see all the details for the product as well as active payment method. Whoever is buying your product will be able to literally add to their card information and place online order. It is that easy. So here from the checkout page, you can see that we have shipping options and here is flat rate with $15 that I have just set up as well as payment options where you can add your card information and place your order online. That means that my card will be charged automatically and you as a seller will get your money straight to your bank account instantaneously via payment processor that you have set up. So that was it for the basic functionality of the e-commerce website. Thank you so much for watching. To see more useful videos like this, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's build more amazing projects together using web host most platform.